Welcome back, you guys. If this is your first time tuning in, I'm Maddie, and this is the True You series sponsored by the makers of Sylvania LED Natural Series light bulbs with True Wave technology. Today, we're going to be chatting with a friend of mine, Amanda Page. She's a model and business owner, and we're going to find out how the things that she does and who she is contributes to her true light. I'm here with one of my best friends, Amanda, who I've met through the health and wellness space and through the modeling industry, and we're going to find out about her true light. How have you been able to find and step into your passion or true light? Um, I think, honestly, it just came with age. I went to school for marketing in Boston and I kind of fell into modeling. It was unexpected, but I was kind of rolling with the punches and you know what, I was like, let's just see how long it goes before I go into my next step in work. Mm -hmm. And 10 years later, I'm still modeling, but I've transitioned into a place where I feel like I'm modeling but doing other things that kind of fuels me and whether that's my business side where I'm modeling plus like my two businesses that I've opened or whether it's you know working on myself and my lifestyle and like working out even that's mm -hmm. kind of how I really find like my true light right now yeah so how do you through your businesses talk a little bit about that and we can also talk about modeling separately but how does that you know shine your light to others and pay it forward and give you purpose so right now I have two businesses. One of them is called Kira. It's a hemp infused craft tea and it was kind of like the offspring of me and my fiance. Um, we don't use any sugar. We only sweeten it with apple juice and its flavors are all inspired by Hawaii or Australia. And um, it was kind of like the first time that I was able to create something and not work for somebody else that was like my own brand and that was like a huge deal um and then you know i wanted to give people the opportunity to have a drink that was going to like basically calm them Make within good. Yeah, yeah within everything else so it is it's got 25 milligrams of hemp extract and I never focus on the fact that it has hemp i focus on the fact that it's just a good drink and i want people to drink it and really like that moment of like sitting down and being like, I'm sitting here at the beach and I'm having like an amazing time with my friends, just like that moment. So that's kind of why I wanted to start that. And um, right now I'm starting a coffee shop in the middle of a pandemic. Um, that's been a whole other thing. I've painted my hair because I've been painting every day, but we are opening in Venice and we have a big focus on outdoor seating. So we've got two phases and the first phase is based on the current climate. So we have outdoor seating and I think everyone's just kind of looking for some sort of community right now. Mm -hmm. And there's really nowhere that you have that you can go and hang out. So I wanted to, to make it um, safe, but also community based. So we have like a really cute outdoor seating option. And like, I want everyone to feel like it's their second home because yeah. there's no really second home right now, you know, aside from your a own. A sense of belonging. And I'm yeah. sure people that live alone too, it's difficult to not have that sense of community and you know, somewhere to feel yourself and be happy. I know from knowing you just how crazy busy you are all the time between modeling and your businesses. So how do you wake up every day and you still remain focused and motivated? I mean, obviously like any other not like human, I don't always wake up, you know, feeling like the best and like really motivated and ready to do it. But I think um, I've always seen things as the bigger picture, right? So I'm not doing the day-to-day -day things because, you know, I like annoying people asking when they're going to send me graphics or like when I have to wake up and paint or, you know, it's, it's not that I love doing these things, but I love that I know what's going to come from it. And so I always look at it as the bigger picture. And I think that's the difference with working for yourself and then working for someone else, right? So I don't wake up and I have a nine to five. I have a list of things I need to do and it's on my terms when I finish it. So really what I put in is what I get out. And that's why I'm motivated because I'm like, okay, even if I don't get majority of the things done by getting a couple things done, I know that I'm like being productive in the bigger picture. And it's that much more rewarding when you see or experience firsthand what all went into the final product for sure let's talk a little bit about modeling and being on social media since we discuss your business i think that's a field that a lot of people don't really realize what all goes into it and the behind the scenes if you see the final image and what work goes into it and also just kind of the 
mental health aspects and pressure put on by society. So your aesthetic is very natural and effortless and so I think true to who you are, knowing you. I think your feed is super reflective of who you are as a person. How do you stay your natural self given the industry and just the current environment of, I don't know, the world, like uh, media? Yeah, I know, such a loaded question. I mean, even right now, like obviously you guys are seeing the final product, but like what's gone into the coordinating and you know, having the cameras and the light to even yeah. do this. Videographers you trust. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of work. I've actually myself had a really hard time balancing that. I think out of everything that I do, weirdly enough, social media has been like the hardest thing for me to balance because I do some influencing stuff. So how do I, you know, tie that into the modeling, but also into the fact that I have a, my own brands, right? So I've actually had a really hard time with that. And I try to, you know, put out the work or the photos or the image or the content on social media that like I feel like is as close to like what I think is me and what I think is a representation of me. How do you handle people or situations that suck the light out of you other than us venting to each other? How do you deal with it? <laughs> okay. I say this all the time to anyone who's younger than me. This is something that comes with age because if I said this to myself eight years ago, I would not believe it. Mm -hmm. This is really something that comes with like maturity and understanding what people are to you in your life and what role they play for sure right. like i'm very much why would i give anything of myself if i'm not feeling the same reciprocation like i don't have time for it i can use that space in my head for something better given that you're from hawaii as we discussed and you now live in la what is the role of natural light in your life and how does it make you feel okay so i had a really interesting situation i grew up in hawaii and when I was 18, I went to college in Boston. And as we all know, Boston has some brutal winters. So that was a little bit of a shock for me. And that was the first time that I personally realized how important natural light was mm -hmm. because it would be very dark very early and it would be very cold. And I had no idea the impact of like, you know, I grew up in Hawaii. So it was like natural light, natural light, natural light. And then I went to the cold and dark and polar opposites. polar opposites, but it is so important. I can't even like, I don't even think I need to use words to explain this right. because it's just mood boosting. Yeah. Energy, everything. Yeah. It really just like changes your whole mindset, like the way you feel like it's huge. Yeah, so if you could bring those benefits from Hawaii or just being a natural light anywhere, inside i'm assuming that would be a game changer for you yeah so it's cool that you have the choice now to like bring that natural light in no matter the circumstance of where you're living technology technology is <laughs> great we found out about amanda's true light and now I invite you to share your hashtag true light by tagging sylvania sylvania natural led light bulbs with true wave technology offer the best alternative to natural light by mimicking the natural light spectrum to deliver natural light for natural living they offer reduced eye strain, help support an improved sleep-wake cycle, and help you see realistic vivid colors. You can buy them via the link in the description below. Until next time, stay true to you and the things that you do.